Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 25th, 2020. Now here in the United States, May 25th is Memorial Day and this is the day that we honor all of the people who gave up their lives serving in the military. So whenever you have a chance, whenever you watch this, if you want to just, you know, take a moment, send some love out, maybe remember them in your prayers and your meditations, that would be really beautiful. So as far as this week's message, opportunity out of chaos. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. We'll figure this one out, right? We'll do it together. But the feeling that I'm getting, you know, I'm one person, what I can offer for this week's energy message, I guess, is that even though we were talking about a lot of toxicity coming up to the surface, um, and this might be individual, you know, you might find that, um, Things that you thought you had dealt with are now coming back or you're thinking about them or you're feeling short tempered or, you know, and that happens because we feel out of control. So we're just doing anything we can to feel in control. Unfortunately, uh, you know, on a worldwide scale, there are, you know, examples of people trying to have control over other people uh, or trying to feed off of them, getting, you know, coming and attacking someone to watch them get scared and if the person actually shows any sign of strength and sets a boundary the person who's trying to feed gets even more desperate and angry and starts to attack even more what can we do where is that opportunity well number one let's start with the outward world a lot of those examples that we're seeing it might be the picture of mental illness we need to be more aware of that. We need to, you know, we need to start taking that a little more seriously. Full disclosure, I am not a mental health care practitioner. I am not licensed in that way. That does not mean I'm not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> right? I'm not giving diagnoses here. I'm not saying that this is what this person has or that person has. Okay, it's just for our conversation here and something for you to consider. Uh, so look around. If you see somebody who is really acting strangely, can you offer help? Don't, I mean, I'm not you giving them therapy, but can you help them find help? Or, you know, without being codependent, right? Without trying to save everybody, um, but in a healthy, balanced kind of way. We will see people who are posing in society as normal, good people. I don't know what that means, but um, <laughs> there are people out there who actually describe themselves as such, and yet they will go on the attack. They are trying to harm people. They are being evil. And a lot of times, because we got told, no, they're normal, good people, whatever that means, uh, they, they can't, it makes us um, very ready to kind of overlook the evilness and to even think that maybe whoever they're attacking has it coming because this person's good. So if they're attacking you, you must have done something really bad. You must have it coming. Our vision is expanding. And it does have to, for a lot of us, start with this human existence, okay? And looking at ourselves and looking at fellow human beings and no longer making excuses for or being asleep to certain behaviors. Now, I know I've come to the table with my history. The moment I started waking up and realizing some of the dynamics that I had allowed myself to be in and realizing the road to recovery to come out of that, I had so much anger, so much anger. How could another human being, why did I let another person have that much control over me? Why did I let another person, you know, put me through all that or to make me believe that about myself? And I know a lot of you out there can relate. I will put this out there. You might disagree. Do what you're going to do. But I do feel like if you have a history where you have been abused and you've had to come through and heal and recover, the people that are acting out, who've never worked on their mental or emotional or spiritual health whatsoever, um, and these are the people where they, they how do I put this? Um, <laughs> this is going to sound a little crazy, but maybe if we want to think of it, it's like they leave their vessel open for that darkness to come through. Yes. I, I, as I say that, I want to put this in there too. I'm not trying to put a stigma around this necessarily. I know you're like, but you are. I don't know how I, the language I have is the language I have. I don't know what to tell you, but there are some people who just don't 
care about whether they hurt other people or not, whether they destroy their lives or not. As long as you're hurting, they can feed. I don't know what you want to call that. Make up a word. Oh, oh, this is our chance. Make up a word and put it down below. <laughs> be really creative. I mean, try to be kind as much as you can. Uh, but anyway, you know, when we're starting to have that awareness, I feel like we, you know, people who have been through abuse, that person has probably been through abuse as well. And so in a weird way, we have this kind of commonality here. Like we just chose to go this way and they chose to go that way and whatever. Uh, so that can draw them to you a little bit. And so I feel like, not for everybody, but the message here for some people out there is to be careful with that. Now, this isn't to encourage paranoia or anything like that. It's just be aware. Be aware that, that your lessons are going to be cracked open again about some people who are being attracted to you. Does that make sense? Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Um, yeah, because there's this feeling here that... I don't know how else to put it. People are becoming unhinged. Okay. They're becoming unhinged and whatever they got going on is coming up to the surface and people are going to hunt. They're going to hunt for what they perceive as soft targets. And if they come to a person and that person, you know, is like, no, I've learned to set a boundary. I'm going to set a boundary. Well, then I'm going to punish you. That's what we're talking about. I want to punish you even more for that. Just be aware. Sometimes it's better to do as they typically say. Sometimes I'm not in this uh, you know, school of thought depends. It's circumstantial, really. It depends on what's happening. But uh, a lot of people just say, you know what? Sometimes it's just best not to engage, <laughs> to just let that person spin out and chase their tail until they're exhausted and let it be. And there is such a thing as karma. I believe in karma. So, you know, be careful with, so have, have your awareness. Yes. A lot of self-care. We're going to be talking about that a little bit more here, but also, you know, you want to practice your boundaries, but be careful if, if, if you're really dealing with somebody who's just got a lot of evil coming through them or whatever, safety first. Okay. That's how it's coming out. I know. I know it's a weird message, but there it is. Now let's talk about self-care and how to manage. So this is something, again, I'm right there in the same boat as y'all. So like I'm learning this as we go along. Um, and I would, I would love to hear what your experiences have been throughout all of this, but, um, I know I've kind of lost myself in trying to recapture the structure, to recapture any sense of, you know, when, when the world feels out of control, any sense of like, I, I got control over this, right? So I ended up cooking a lot and, and just distracting myself and trying to reorganize the apartment and, you know, just doing whatever I could to feel structure. Uh, and then I realized, oh yeah, well, obviously I have a spiritual practice and I have been getting outside and regenerating in that way, but I haven't done this in a long time. I used to do like my little like <laughs> spiritual retreats at home kind of thing where a couple days, maybe out of the week or every other week, just a couple days straight. It's nothing but what brings me peace. Okay. So I'm going to get up and meditate. I'm going to do some yoga. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to make a great salad. Or when you used to be able to go somewhere, I would go somewhere and maybe sit and have lunch and socialize with my neighbors and, you know, that sort of thing. And I hadn't done that really since this whole thing got started. Now for me, this is just an example, but for me, that's an important part of my self-care to unplug for a little bit. A lot of times I wouldn't, you know, check comments. I wouldn't check social media or anything like that. So this morning, yeah, just this morning, I was like, well, okay, might be a few days before I can take a two day stretch to just, um, or maybe actually I got to look at my schedule. I think probably like a week I'm looking at here before I can get caught up enough to <laughs> give a couple of days off here. But, you know, I can start with my morning meditation. I can start with taking care of the things that I wanted to take care of in the day. And uh, I need to make more time to be still and to be still outside if I want to sit on my balcony or something like that and or my patio and you know just sit there and take in some fresh air to read a book I know these sound like simplistic things but maybe their simplicity makes them easy to overlook 
And next thing you know, you can't figure out, why am I so agitated? Well, it's because what's going on in the world, understandable. But can I do more to help keep myself afloat, <laughs> right? Can I do more uh, to keep my energy in a good place? Can I cleanse my energy when there are people out there who are on the attack? Well, we are seeing horrific things out in the world. Now, as I say that, I'm not saying don't consider other people. I would never say that to you. Of course, we want to give love. We want to do what we can, help where we can in a balanced way. But do you keep forgetting yourself in the mix? Now, if you're sitting there going, no, 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 I take care of myself, but your way of whatever brings you joy, do it. Uh, but if your way is to do your nails day in and day out, send me pictures. I'm obsessed. Okay. I love, I love the nail art. I don't do it myself, <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, but you know, that might be one thing, but what else are you doing? What are you doing? You know, so that's a physical activity. It's artistic and it's uh, self-care, you know, like physical self-care, but what are you doing for your spirit? Cause I bet the fumes from that polish, it's not doing your brain any favors. Most likely. I'm just guessing. I don't know about these things. Let me know down below. <laughs> We're going to have all these conversations going on this week. <laughs> but, like, but what are you doing to keep your energy in a nice equilibrium? Now, we also, this is coming up too. So if you have been one of those people, if you're watching this video and you're like, you know what? I have been very angry and um, I'm one of those people. Maybe someone out there is like, I'm one of those people that I've gone and taken it out on everybody else. And maybe you know, your favorite place to take it out on somebody is Facebook. I've noticed that, that that's a thing. Oh my gosh. Everybody wants to fight everybody on Facebook. Um, and because you're behind a keyboard it, in one way or another, maybe it makes it a little bit easier to behave that way. And, you know, the whole idea of talking about this is not so that you feel guilt. It's so that you feel that awareness. Where can you send better energy? You know, first of all, take a check with your own energy. Like, well, how did I get here? What is this? Because really what's happening is this pandemic is hitting on other things within us. Okay. And so there's a lot, it's a lot more than just, oh, there, it's a crazy world out there. It's a lot more than that. So if you found yourself not coping very well and taking it out on somebody else, you still have a chance. Okay. It doesn't make you a permanent bad person. Okay. <laughs> like you can get that turned around. You can make amends with someone, send love their way and, and, whatever else you deem necessary. Okay. Um, you know, a very powerful practice. We talk about this in a lot of personal readings. If you would like to get a personal reading, have me tune in to your energy and we'll do an energy check for you. <laughs> Basically you can go to angelsouls444.com. Uh, if you're bored, I also have courses that I've, I hold library of courses that I've done, you know, a long time ago about angels, about, uh, spiritual awakening. There's a whole bunch of content over at Gumroad, uh, it's all down below. I believe it's gumroad.com slash angel souls. I think I kept it simple. So again, you know, a very uh, big practice that I've been saying in and reminding people in personal readings is the gratitude practice, right? So getting into your heart, opening your heart space, being grateful for what's around you. Some days you're not going to feel like it and that's okay. You know, again, you're just getting yourself through here. But another thing that you can do that's really, really powerful, let's go back to Maybe there's a lot of toxicity um, that's coming at you in your life right now. Of course, if you're in a horrible situation, find that support. Okay, find that support. Make sure you're safe and protect the kids. God forbid if there are kids involved, always protect the kids. Another thing that you can do is actually go into meditation and send love to someone who's sending you hate. Yeah, no. It's tough. It's a tough thing to do. But uh, I remember just one example, I left a comment on a news story and it wasn't even, it wasn't meant to provoke anybody. It was just, you know, I just left a comment and there were a couple of women that started going crazy and started going, well, you don't know this. And you know, how could you say that? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I hate that because I'm like, what did I miss? Like if you're reacting like that, okay. Uh, anyway, and it just started to become very apparent, like we've been saying here, that these were people who just wanted an outlet for their anger. I know, I didn't like, 
you know, have some genius moment with that, but um, maybe I needed a minute to catch up. So anyway, so I realized this and then I finally said to the one woman, I've got nothing but love for you. I have nothing but love for you. And she stopped. She actually stopped the hate. And we talk about that. People say it all the time. But again, you know, case by case, sometimes you're just not in that place where you can send love to somebody who's being so hateful or send love to somebody who's doing something awful. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. We're only offering this if you feel like you're in a place where you can do that. All right. Messy times, <laughs> messy times. The messages coming through have been a little hard to capture because every time I start to like, I don't even know what take this video is of trying to do this message because every time I start going down this one road, like all these other messages were coming up around it. But we, you know, I think I'm, I think I kind of got it out here. So I think the bottom line here is to be aware, notice what is happening to humanity and trying to not have, it's hard, I know, try not to have so much judgment around what's happening uh, and not getting invested in it uh, and trying to just keep yourself very healed, even if, you know, there's a toxic situation going on out there in the world. Remember, you stand strong. You keep being a beacon of love as much as you can and honoring yourself as a human being. So if you do have a down moment, it's all right. Again, make sure you're reaching out and getting help. Okay, so let's get some cards and let's see what we have here. So I'm bringing back the crystal deck for this week. I had somebody, <laughs> I had somebody comment one time, geez, you only use like one deck. Um, I probably, I don't even know. I have not counted my Oracle decks in a very long time. I have probably hundreds. Some I keep for my own use, okay? Uh, some I bought only because the artwork was incredible, but I don't really understand the Oracle cards. I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> some of these are like, you know, so complicated. It's like, that's gonna actually distract from the message I'm trying to bring through. Let's keep it simple. And others, I don't know. I just, they had their time and now they're on my shelf and every once in a while I look at them and I'm like, oh, it was one of my first decks, look at that. <laughs> But I find that these are nice, universal. Um, I like to choose Oracle decks that, again, keep it very simple. I don't, and I don't want them to be so abstract that you're kind of forced to lean on the book. Some little tricky authors out there that do that. All of them respect for you writing the, the guidebook with it. I almost dropped the deck. Um, <laughs> but, you know, the whole thing is about the message that comes up, right? Not about memorizing something. That's my opinion. You read as you read. It's all good. Nobody cares. It's all good. <laughs> but um, color, having like one or two word frequencies, those are the decks I, I tend to go for. Anyway. Oh, that wants to come out. Pink tourmaline forgiveness. Check that out. So that's what we're talking about here. Remember I said, you know, you might be in a, an okay space to do that. <sighs> this leans on a lot of love. And again, forgiveness does not mean, hey, what you did to me is great. Try it again. You know, no, it's not that. It's about releasing you from any pain. Think about when someone has just in a simplistic um, situation been very rude to you and maybe you're sensitive and maybe, and again, I, I feel like a lot of empaths Tell me how you feel. Uh, but I feel like a lot of empaths, they just want, we just want everyone to get along. We want everyone to be not in pain. We want everyone to be good, right? Like just everybody be cool with each other. And when someone's not, you know, for good or for bad, it can, it can really affect us and maybe upset us and be like, why are you so rude? <laughs> right? People love to say to get over it and, and brush it away. We are no longer in those times. No. <laughs> All right? We no longer pretend that things aren't happening when they are. We are no longer accepting poor behavior human to human. Now, I know some of you are listening to this and going, nice try, Michelle. We got a long way to go. I know. I know. There's some major, major, major awful things that are happening out there right now. And um, that's where we have to come in with our love. Do you hear the BP truck in the background? Okay. 
I think the truck went. He didn't go. He's just picking up the, the trash thing. We'll keep going until we can, okay? <laughs> Kunzite, self-love. You see this? Forgiveness is about self-love. Forgiveness is about releasing so that you can get back to you. And if you have lived a life where you have suffered abuse, your self-esteem has taken a huge hit. Um, people have told you that you're not worthy. And then, of course, as an adult, well, there are bullies. I mean, if you grew up around bullies, there are adult bullies, too, who then try to victimize themselves. Interesting, right? But, you know, those are people who are just trying to feed off your energy. And, yes, they're probably, I know someone's going to say, oh, just send them love. Yeah, we got that. But, oh, let's address that. Okay, so I know someone's going to be like, Michelle, you always get so irritated when, you talk about a situation and someone immediately says, oh, you need to send the bully love or whoever, you know, the perpetrator, you need to send them love. The only reason, I don't think that's bad. I just don't think that I've made myself clear in the past. So forgive me for that, please. Um, what I mean by that is usually if it's someone who has experienced that, they might have been on the wrong side, <laughs> well, you know, the one getting the, uh, the treatment, okay, and they're telling that story then just hopping ahead and going, oh, send that perpetrator love. There's a person that that happened to. That's all I'm saying, right? And it can feel like you're kind of like, like this person gets overlooked and you're going to the perpetrator. Does that make sense? Again, this is like take 545. So I don't know if I'm making sense these days. I don't know. I'm doing the best I can. Self-love. <laughs> Kunzite self-love. So again, the releasing and the processing. Give yourselves this chance. Everything's a mess right now anyway. Get on in there and see what needs to be fixed and what, what can be salvaged. Like, <laughs> what parts of your life do you want to keep and what parts need to be revamped? Okay, so the next card we have is Cacoxanite New Beginnings. This is the opportunity out of chaos. So, if you're really pushing and trying to get stability back into life, I feel you. <laughs> but I, I really feel like we have to give ourselves a break here and just get comfortable with things being a little sloppy right now because it's teaching us something. It's letting us go back. It's like tearing out the closet. And if you're anything like me, you tear out the closet and then you're like, oh, like I'm totally into this. And then you're not. And then everything in the closet's on the floor, sometimes for days until you're trying to find your motivation again. Sorry, let's go back to what we were talking about. So <laughs> this is the kind of thing that we're going through right now where it's like tearing out the closet and having to sift through where, you know, where do things still cause you pain? That's going to hold you back. That's going to hold you back from your success. And also, again, with treatment, the way people treat each other sometimes and drag each other down. You know, if you have ever experienced that, you might have been holding yourself back in your life thinking that you can't do something or that you're not good enough or that you, you know, you know, a lot of, yeah, there are people with natural talent, but most people still have to nurture their talents to be good at something. If somebody has a good voice, it doesn't become great without training. Same for most artists, writers, right? Please talk to any writer out there. They'll be like, yeah, I pretend like I know what I'm doing, but this is draft number 845. Uh, the numbers just keep going up. I don't want to tell you. So Kakox and I, New Beginnings, I think this is a wonderful, wonderful time to take a check. Where do you want your lives to go from here? Yeah, fresh start. Maybe it's not going to happen right away, but you're, you're doing the prep work to make that happen. Yeah, calcite relaxation your discoveries and your processing is going to come from giving yourselves a chance to relax. So whatever it is that you're dealing with right now, relaxing into it. This is meditation. This is giving yourself a chance to move your body a little bit. How many of us, you know, some of you have had to go back to the office and, uh, you know, some of us have to sit at a desk for a good portion of the day, right? So get up and move, get your energy moving and make time to relax, yes? Give your heart a break in between those big um, epiphanies, especially if it's old memories coming up that maybe aren't sitting well with you. Now, I do feel like I wanna get one more card. Don't know why, we'll see. In, 
in there. Okay, there. <laughs> oh, awakening crystal emotional healing. Look at that. That does, in fact, go with the whole rest of the reading. So I'm still working through it. This is on a deeper level, though. This is the emotional body. This is, um, you know, getting your, your energy back in place, working on that spiritual self. All right, the soul self. Let's get a color card here. Guess down below what you think it might be. Here's your shot. Here's your chance. <laughs> do it about right there for this week we have emerald calm your mind body and soul the number is 30 wow they ain't kidding and this is the heart space so this is working with archangel raphael and and working on your healing getting your heart open whatever pain is there that makes you perhaps want to react at other people this is your chance to look at that and to work through whatever spurs that kind of uh, reaction out of you or if you're grieving this gives you a chance to heal it gives you a chance to um, process you know that's a big word here process 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 and just to relax your heart just to relax your heart calm your mind body and soul it's going to be okay we're just learning a lot of lessons and you know when we go through times like this people are always panicking to scramble right back out of it when in fact we're supposed to be hanging right here, just kind of hang tight with where you are, be present and allow yourself to have, basically it's a cleansing, this big cleansing kind of thing happening for us so that we can release it, we can have a different perspective and we can keep moving forward. All right, so we're gonna leave it there guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. truck in the background this is like take 25 on this message i was gonna say we're gonna keep rolling but <laughs> it's the garbage guy it's amazing there's no rhyme or reason to what this microphone picks up this is take 777 I thought they were done. <laughs>